this is the right rear wheel of my electric Geo Metro. Uh, in there right now you can see a Ford Ranger front coil spring compressed down with two ratchet straps. Here on the left is the original Geo Metro spring and on the right this is the uh, uh, about two coils worth that I cut off the Ford Ranger spring to make it the same length as the Geo Metro spring. Um, but since the Ranger spring is a thicker material, I, it can hold a lot of uh, more weight for the same size. Still, I needed to compress it down, and I did that using just some regular uh, ratchet straps. I didn't have to compress it down very far, only maybe an inch or so, to be able to get it into here. And then I uh, reconnected the suspension, jacked it up, and now what I'm going to do is uh, disconnect the... Uh, uh, the ratchet strap, which does not have any pressure on it anymore. Um, let's see. And then, um, hopefully this should all work uh, pretty good. I just finished installing cut-down Ford Ranger springs in place of my original Geo Metro springs to be able to support the weight of 12 12-volt 12 batteries for 144-volt uh, electric system in this car. It's not going to use gas, it's just going to use electricity from batteries. Now when I lower it, hopefully the car will sit higher than it did before and it will be even because I didn't have a great way to cut the springs exactly the same. I was just eyeballing it. Let's hope it's close enough. Here we go. Well, the good news is that overall the springs are working. The bad news is it's a half inch higher on the right than the left, so I don't know if um, I have to pull the spring on the right back out again, trim a little more off of it, or what.